You're listening to the Secure Dad Podcast. Discover ways to protect yourself and your family at home, in public, and online. Welcome, friend. I'm Andy Murphy, the creator of the Secure Dad. This podcast serves to help people become proactive in their safety. The information I share on this podcast is for general information purposes only. My goal is to empower you to make safer decisions for yourself and your family, because our safety is our own responsibility. Today is the last episode of 2023, and as we look ahead, I'm going to share with you what I feel everyone needs to know to protect themselves in the new year. All of that and more ahead on the Secure Dad Podcast. In November, Duke University published a report on how easy it was to find the personal information of active duty military members and their families. The report said researchers could buy information from data brokers for as little as 12 cents per record. Not only is that alarming, but the report also said they could easily find location data on military members and their families. Oh, and these data brokers are selling to customers outside of the United States. Military or not, you need to remove your data from these sites now. Go to jointdeleteme.com slash dad. There, you can get 20% off a privacy plan when using the code DAD at checkout. Data selling like this is happening every day, and it could be putting you or a loved one at risk. See why I find Delete Me essential to my privacy at jointdeleteme.com slash dad and use promo code dad to get 20% off today. Delete Me is a sponsor of the Secure Dad podcast. In January, I'm going to be doing my very first live webinar. I'm very excited and I want to invite you to attend. On Sunday, January 14th, I'll be discussing ways that you can protect your front door. The reason I'm doing this is because according to FBI statistics, the number one way bad guys get into your home is through the front door. So I'll go over what we can do to fortify our doors, but not make it feel like we live in a prison. And this is all things that everybody can do, no matter where your skill level is. To sign up, check out the link in the show notes. Availability is going to be limited, so sign up early. As we come to the end of 2023, it's time to start looking at what we need to do in 2024 to protect ourselves and our families. So I'm going to share with you today some security hacks that I think we all need to do in this new year. And no, I'm not going to be making any security predictions or anything like that. What I share comes from trends that I've been seeing over the past year that are founded in reality. I am not selling you fear like so many others try to do. If you've not done so already, you need to take your home security seriously in 2024. There's a rise of car break-ins around the country, and it's a signal that the common thief is getting bolder. Because of that, I feel that property crime is going to rise somewhat in 2024. Over the past decade, property crime has actually declined, except for automotive break-ins. And I don't think things are going to get out of control in this new year. I think that people are going to get bored of breaking into cars, and they may shift to breaking into homes. If you listen to this show, then you are moving in the right direction. Even if you've increased your home defenses, let this new year be the year that you reevaluate what you've done and see if it works. Test it out and make sure that it's going to hold like you think it is. So my hack for home security in 2024 is making your home look like an unappealing target. You might think that that means that you need to let the grass grow out or you leave the mailbox overstuffed and generally look like you don't have anything nice in your house. But that's not actually the case at all. You need to see your home as a thief does. This is called the adversarial mindset. You think like a burglar. If you let your home look like you don't care, then it's a reasonable conclusion for the bad guy that you don't care about protecting your house. That actually makes things look easier to him. Instead, make your home look squared away. Keep the bushes trimmed so that nobody can hide behind them. Pick up the kids' toys in the yard. Add a storm door to your front door to add one more layer of protection. Put up a doorbell camera. Add light to dark areas of your property. All of this works together to take away any advantage that the thief might have. That's making a target unappealing to a thief. The flip side of the coin is, it happens to boost your curb appeal too. For more ways to defend your home, check out my book, Home Security, The Secure Dad's Guide. It's available to you on Amazon, and there's a link in the show notes. My online safety tip for this year is going to focus on social media. 
While many of us want to blame social media for all of our current problems, the fact is that most of the time, we make our own troubles. We all need to think twice about what we post. Ask yourself why you're doing it and what good is going to come from it. Now, some people like to watch the world burn and I see you, but most of us just want to connect with like-minded people. So before you hit that share button, please think twice. This is especially important for our kids. They will be judged for what they posted when they were only 10, 12, 13 years old, whatever. This could hurt their chances at college acceptance, job applications, and even relationships. So while our kids want to be on social media, they have to think about their future and what they post. So make sure you impart that to them in this new year. And if your children don't want that stress, then maybe they don't need to be on social media. And speaking of our kids, try to limit the pictures that you post of them online. With AI getting better at creating deep fake images and videos, you don't want your child's face to end up somewhere that it shouldn't. My situational awareness hack for the next year is something that I want you to pay attention to everywhere that you go, and that is the parking lot. And I'm going to say this for a few reasons. There's a lot of information that we can tell about the inside of a location by what's going on outside. Now, not all of what I'm going to say is a hard and fast rule, but generally speaking, these tips will work. And once you start practicing it, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see it works. I learned from Greg Williams and Brian Mayer that the condition of the exterior of a restaurant gives you an idea of how the staff takes care of the facility inside. If the parking lot is clean, then chances are the kitchen is clean and they're going to get high marks on their inspections. If the parking lot looks like a dumpster, then things inside might not be sanitary. And of course, if you look around the outside and there's an abundance of mouse traps along the exterior walls, well, that's a bad sign too. Now, here's something else about a parking lot that's a little different. It doesn't involve a restaurant. Two days ago, I was in a Target store parking lot. Newsflash. They didn't have what I was looking for. Anyway, I noticed a lot of trash on the eastern side of the parking lot where there is a wooded area that leads to some vacant land and there's a power station back there. Now, I will admit that this could be a random occurrence. You know, trash can blow in from all directions in a parking lot. That happens. So I was that weird guy and I decided to start looking at the trash. I found a vodka bottle, crushed beer cans, and bags of old food. Now, wind-blown trash is usually random, but vodka bottles don't blow in the wind. This leads me to think that people are spending a lot of time near the trees of this vacant land, perhaps even living there. Now, I'm going to avoid this side of the parking lot and tell my wife that she should do the same. These are clues that are out there in our environment. We've just got to look for them. And the last thing I'll say about a parking lot is that you need to see who moves across it before entering any building. If you are on your church security team, you're a police officer, or you just want to know what's going on, I want you to remember this. The Nashville school shooter from earlier this year had to park their car in the parking lot and walk across it to start their attack. Protesters gather in parking lots before they block roadways and vandalize buildings. A teenager who robs a Walgreens has to cross the parking lot to get to the cash register. So my point is this. Bad things cross the parking lot before they get worse. Keep that in mind. Now let's talk about our privacy hack for 2024. I suggest in the new year that you get a new email address. Like me, you probably have several email addresses. One is for work, another is for coupons and discounts, and the last one is for your personal use. But over time, these email addresses get used for logins for websites, ad targeting, and maybe even exposed in a data breach. This leaves our addresses exposed to scammers and also data brokers. So the point of the new email address is to create it only for family and personal communication. Do not use it to sign up for a discount. Do not use it for a school sign up. Do not use it for business. Only use it for vital communication with people that you care about and important personal correspondence like with your doctor. I really suggest using an encrypted service like Proton Mail. You can sign up for free and no, I'm not an affiliate of theirs. I just really like their product. I do suggest that when you create this new email address, you don't use your name. 
Make it something generic like I hate fanny packs at proton.me. And no, I don't have that address, but it would fit. It's just an example. But the more generic you make it, the harder it is to tie to you. Over time, move each family member to your new email address. It may take all of 2024 to get people over to the new one, but that's okay. Then ask that they not share the address with anybody else. This way you can keep this address insulated from social media, logins, and anyone else who wants to eat away at your privacy. As always, I encourage you to get training every year to make yourself a more capable person. This training could be first aid, a firearms course, or even learning about situational awareness. The aim of these classes is to make you smarter and better than you were the year before. This way you can help yourself and your family in the event of a crisis. I've done training once a year since I started this show, and it's a great way to gain new skills and get out of my comfort zone. I find myself being really proud of myself when I've completed something. So whether it's in person or online, take some time to invest in yourself with training in 2024. Speaking of online training, on January 14th, I'm doing a live webinar about protecting your front door. I'm going to geek out on the vulnerabilities, the problems that we face, and I'm going to give you solutions. I see video after video of criminals kicking down front doors to rob people, so I'm going to show you how to prevent that. This webinar is free. All you need to do is register. Plus, I'm going to share with you something special that I've been working on. So I hope to see you at the event. You can sign up for securing your front door at the link in the show notes. That's all that I have for today's episode of the podcast and for the podcast this year. Thank you, friend, for listening and being a part of this. Don't forget to sign up for my free webinar in January. There's a link in the show notes with more details. Take back your privacy and personal data with help from Delete Me. Get 20% off a privacy plan when using the code DAD at checkout. Go to joindeleteme.com slash dad to get started. I'm excited to announce that Fliplock and the Secure Dad have teamed up to protect your house and save you money. Get 20% off your entire order at fliplock.com when using the discount code SECUREDAD. If you'd like to know more about the Secure Dad, join me on Instagram and X. My username for both platforms is the Secure Dad. And of course, my site is available to you 24-7 at thesecuredat.com. I'm Andy Murphy, and I hope you have a safe and wonderful new year.